Seriously, bikers need to get off the road. Share the road. This is easier said than done for some city drivers and bikers. Um, there was this one time I was driving in Boston, um, and it was rush hour. And uh, suddenly, you know, the light changed, turned red, I stopped, and then I hear, like, someone hit me in the back, and I thought it was a car. So I turn around, and there's a bike, a biker, with his bike on top of my, um, the back of my car. I mean, the roads are very narrow. Um, just, just drive as close to the sidewalk as you can. Uh, just try to get out of our ways. I mean, one day I'll probably hit a guy. It's tough. It's tough. I don't know. I don't know. I think that we won't ever be able to share the road. Biker Seth Campbell says that both bikers and drivers need to do a better job at sharing. Both the driver and the biker have to be aware of their surroundings. And if neither one is, that's pretty much how accidents happen. Drivers drive just for them, but they also have to drive for people with bicycles on the road and vice versa. To make the city more welcoming to cyclists, Mayor Thomas Menino has launched Boston Bikes. The program increases ridership and educates bikers on having a better riding experience. It's a message to all the drivers out there and the cyclists that says, you know, under Massachusetts state law, you don't need to have a lane to have a place on the road. More bikes on the road increases the legitimacy that, yes, bikes do have a right to the road and get used to them because <laughs> they'll be around. Get used to driving around them, get used to watching out for them. There are 10 to 20,000 bikes on the road and the city only has 50 miles in bike lanes. Boston Bikes offers groups online where you can request bike lanes in your neighborhood. This is Enid Kalo for WEBN News.